All right, try it again. I'd say like right over towards that dock. Go over in there. That's all right, leave it right there. There's fish right there. Reel it up, see for something on there. No. Throw it out there again. I'll stand over here to the side. Perfect cast. Perfect cast. Your first time fishing and you're already casting with a spinning reel. That's there's only one reel harder to cast with than a spinning reel, that's a bait caster. And we'll get you doing that too before too long. But you you can fish whatever you're comfortable with, but you need to learn how to do it just for just so you know what your dad did, you know. Is this the kind he used? He used those. Uh, most bass fishermen use spinning and bait casting reels. The they spin? have their purpose. What's the spinning? Spinning would be used more for uh, lighter lures. Is that like the first one I used? No, that's a spinning reel right there. That That is actually a spin casting reel, the first one. You, they call it an underspin is what they call it. Mm. Oh, look, there's one right there. That's bluegill. So tiny. That's bluegill. That's what we used to catch out of here. We could catch those pretty often on, blue, on uh, worms and bobbers. Mm-hmm. Water's pretty clear. Hmm? Oh, two of them. Take a picture of Let me try that cast. I catch him for your aquarium. <laughs> He'd eat those other fish. Oh, he would. He's bigger than he looks. Remind me to go to Sportsman's and pick up a fish scale. I don't think I have one. You never had one or? Well, I probably have. I just don't know where they're at. I don't generally keep fish that I catch. I usually throw them back. Oh. Uh, we have to eat these? Yeah, they're going home with us. Let's go hit that scale, eat that scale. Yeah, that's what it is. I got one. You did? I think so. No, I think it got off. Shucks. Didn't let him have it long enough.
You got my bait though. All right, one more. That's all we need. They also have this stuff and it's like a dough and you make your own ball. These are the, these are a little bit more expensive. That's why I brought these because uh -huh. they're they're just less mess. Let's go right out there. I'm gonna sit down for a minute. In this handy dandy chair. This is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Got one. Got it. There's number six. All right. Woo! This is so much fun. Ooh. <laughs> you hear him pull the drag? Uh huh. I'm letting him play out a little bit. Trout have their own way of fighting. There he is. Oh, he didn't like seeing that dock, did he? <laughs> They're very healthy fish. Woohoo! I hope I got that on camera. <laughs> Oof. He's trying to jerk a rod out of my hands. There he is. Strong fish. Pound for pound. They right there with a bass. Look at that. Look how he's been in that rod. It's what maybe a pound and a half trout or something. <sighs> Trying to play him out a little bit, see. So won't be so rambunctious when we get him over here. Golly. He's playing out now. Here, hold the rod, baby. Oh, you can you can pick picture if you want to. Yeah. Hang on tight because he's jerking hard. Yeah, walk backwards. There you go. All right, here's number six. I think I got him corner hooked there. Oh no, he's deep. Oh gosh. Every time I think I got him with these things, I don't. Not crazy about my forceps here. They work good on bass, but not so much on these trout. Mm -mm. All right, you good? Uh -huh. <laughs> now the fun begins. We got to clean these damn things. Let me go off. You can pick that straight up. Just hang on to it there for a second. I'm gonna rinse some of this stuff off. Fish scales. Fish scales. 
everywhere. I'm gonna borrow their bucket for a minute. Look, that stirred them up, didn't it? We're gonna use this bucket to carry this stuff. I probably should have brought two buckets. Throw that away when we get up there. You can hook it actually. There's a little Let go over there, baby. Here, hold these for a second. I'll show you how to do this. I don't think I went over it with you. Oh, look at the very bottom. Yeah. I see it. I see how you did the other one. I'm oh, went the wrong way. We'll have to read. Oh shit, honey, I'm sorry. I did not mean for that thing to whip around. Like we'll have to retie these because they're from using the forceps. If I've caught the line a couple of times, uh -huh. and okay, if you can carry the rods, I'll get the two buckets. I can get the bucket with the stuff in it. I got it. <laughs> All right, let's go put the rods in the back of the truck. Well, I want to take a picture of those rods somewhere. <laughs> you ain't sneaking up on nobody on that dock. Let me put this stuff in the back. stuff in the back of the truck and straighten it out when we get home I'm hoping I can just kind of stuff all this stuff down in here <laughs> that's the quickest trip fishing trip I've had in years I'm not gonna lie that was incredible I tell you what, let's uh, let's lean the rods up right here. I'm gonna take a picture of them. All right. I like to I like to brag a little bit on the forms. Side of the Jeep, too. All right, we'll leave those right there for now. Let's take these off before I lose them. See, I got a lanyard right here mm -hmm. on my scissors, but uh, all right, I'm gonna cut this off. <laughs> 